You want to make these. These are profiteroles, <laughs> cream puffs. Yeah. And uh, the whole idea of making a cream puff is that when it's baked, it has a big cavity inside so that you can fill it with cream or creme patissiere or ice cream or sorbet. So uh, we have a cup of water. You have your pot there. We have a cup of water that is boiling, and we're going to add one cup of flour right to one cup of boiling water. Just plop it in and use a wooden spoon to stir around. And this is making the pot. Uh, and pot au chou, chou means uh, cabbage in, in French. And uh, add a quarter teaspoon of salt to this and a half a teaspoon I mean, of sugar. so fast. Do it, do it. Just, it's just like in the movies. Just do that. Okay? But you have to keep stirring at the same time. But, I mean, I only Because do you it. don't want it to burn. And, and sugar as well. Yep. Yep. Okay. And now keep stirring. Get, get it. So it's really smooth. And what you're doing now is cooking the flour. Really scrape the bottom of the pot. Hold, hold the spoon at whichever way you have to, really strongly, so that uh, you're cooking out all the lumps. Let's see how yours look. Harder, harder. You have to just do it harder. And add your butter, a half a cup of butter. Okay, okay. that'll make it easier. Get that into there, too. Oh, wow. It's not the same. Get your butter in. And the butter will smooth it all out, and you'll be very happy. And uh, keep the flame up high because what you're trying to do is really cook this whole mixture and make it into that uh, thick, almost like, a, I don't know, sort of like a smooth but thick mixture. And it coats the bottom of the pan and tells you that it is almost ready. You can let this cool just a little bit here on the counter. And I would cool it on a pot holder. Am I good to take this off, though? Yeah, that's good. We'll turn that off. And here, put this on a pot holder. Burn it. Here, here, right there. Okay, now just keep stirring it. Just cool a little tiny bit. See how it's coated the bottom of the pan? That means the flour has been cooked. Now we're going to add one by one the four eggs. And uh, here, you take this one. I'll do. I'll, I'll uh, do it. I mean, no, that's better. It's better. I just want you to. I want you to. You to have success. It just needs to be a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Beaten a little that bit more. so embarrassing. Oh, it should not be. Now add one egg at a time. Just pour one egg in there. Uh, okay. One. Oh, that my, was two. two. My, oh, I in. My... Okay, don't burn yourself. We don't want any scars. See, and it does incorporate all the eggs. And this is exactly what you want the mixture to look like. Yeah, keep stirring it faster. Okay, so that's the mixture. That's what you want it to look like. Oh, wow. Okay, gloppy and Can I just put like the last that. Two in? Yep, put it in. You keep stirring. More. So you'll put it in the bag. And see these like nice clear plastic bags. Videos. Yeah, yours is good. Yours is perfect. Okay, so but you can leave that now and just come really? over here. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna pipe with me. Okay. Now watch this. You hold at the top with one oh. hand and you direct with the other. So if you're a righty, then yeah, just direct. like yeah. What are you a righty? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so am I. So okay. put this hand up here. Okay. <laughs> and direct with your left. Okay. Now just hold it like this, mm -hmm. upright. Yeah. And you're going to make a mound about one and three quarters inches in diameter and about th three quarters of an inches, inch. Perfect. Yep. And just do them two inches oh. apart. <laughs> like that. And space them two inches apart. We don't have time to finish the whole tray, but you're doing very well. Yeah. So look, so hold it, hold it without moving it. Hold it there and just squeeze hard. See, yeah, that's your hand to squeeze. This one to point. This one... Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Now yeah, take. Better, I see. Yeah, see what you don't if you don't move it. Now see these little points, mm. unacceptable. So you take, you take a little bit of water and just pat the points <laughs> down. So take that's your water, pat the points down and make it nice and flat. See next movie you can play a baker. I'll be your coach, okay? <laughs> and then brush with egg and bake at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Uh, reduce the heat to 350 and bake for another 20 minutes. So you have to brush it all with an egg. This will get it nice and brown. Our puffs have miraculously emerged from the oven. They are cool. <laughs> and now we can cut them in half. Just cut this, not all the way through. If You, you can just leave a, a little hinge. Well, here's what we're making. We're making little profiteroles like this filled with vanilla ice cream, just like that. And you can dip it in the water, too, if you want to make it the um, 
they scoop work faster. But here, three, I think, is enough for your friend Douglas, don't you think? <laughs>